Hi, my name is Miss Yvonne Wan. Welcome to my class. Today we will draw a tiger using traditional Sumi inks and paper and watercolors in celebration of the Lunar New Year in 2022. Chinese New Year kicks off on February the 1st, 2022. The Chinese New Year is different from the New Year Day that we have in Western societies. And that is because most countries use the Gregorian calendar, which has around 365 days, whilst the lunar calendar is based on 12 full cycles of the moon, which is roughly 354 days. There are many ways to track time as there are cultures and languages. Each calendar reveals something about how the people who created it relate to the world around them while also preserving rich cultural identities and memories. Chinese New Year marks the transition between zodiac signs. 2022 is the year of the tiger. And so today we are going to draw a tiger using traditional sumi inks and Japanese watercolours. Tigers are easily recognised by its coat of reddish-orange with dark stripes. The tiger is the largest wild cat in the world. The big cat's tail is three feet long. They stand three feet tall with teeth four inches long and claws as long as house keys. Today, the tiger is classified as endangered. There are 3,500 tigers remaining in the wild globally. Today, habitat destruction, human population growth, and a demand for tiger parts threaten the tiger's survival. However, conservation efforts are making a difference. The art supplies that you need today include pencil, sumi paper, eraser, sumi ink, brushes, sumi paint palette, Japanese watercolours and a glass of water. So let's get started. First I'd like you to divide the page into three new rows and then split the page in half like this. We're going to draw the picture on the top left hand corner. I would like you to draw the top of the tiger's head in this box like so, the ears like so and then the tiger's back and its snout. The snout is like a V and the mouth is like an upside down V. Next, I would like you to draw the eyes like this and then the chin like this and then its back like this and its tail like this. Next, I'd like you to draw a rock underneath the tiger like this and then draw its left arm like this and its claws like this. Next I'd like to draw the right arm Next, I'd like you to raise the lines that you don't need. Next, I'd like you to draw some stripes on his fur like this. I'd like you to add some fine detail on his paws. I'd like you to add some detail to his tail like this. Don't forget to add the whiskers. Next, I'd like you to sign your name and the year and then add a moon on the top left hand corner. I'd like you to add some minor refinements to your art to make it look more realistic.
Next, I'd like you to prepare your sumi palette by having different concentrations of black in each section. You do this by dipping your brush into the palette once and then methodically moving the brush from one section to another. Once you do this, the grey should get lighter as you move on. Next, I'd like you to take the light grey and then apply the brush to the paper like this. We're giving a monochromatic look for the tiger. Next, I'd like you to take the concentrated black and then add the outline and the tiger stripes like this. To achieve thinner lines, please hold the brush lightly and use the pointed bit to control your strokes. Next, I'd like you to write your name using the brush like this. And then I'd like you to take the larger brush to do the moon. Next, I'd like you to take a light blue to colour in his eyes, like this. And if you have a white gel pen, you can add a sparkle to his eyes, like this. Once it has dried, erase the lines you don't need. If you have a name stamp, please apply this once the artwork is finished. And here is the completed picture. This brings us to the end of this week's class. I hope you had fun. See you next week.